Hi, and welcome to the first video of four in this series on auto titles. In this series, you will learn how to use auto titles in your document and how to format them to meet your needs. And in this first video, you will learn what are auto titles and how to insert them into your document and how to edit them as you see fit. Auto titles are structural elements you can insert into your document to serve as headings or as captions for chapters, tables, images, graphs, and more. Let's look at some examples. So this is an auto title for a chapter. This one is for an image. And this one is for a table. Auto titles form the basis for many other MLL features. The outline is built from all the auto titles in the document as they are the foundation for the document structure. Next, when generating a table of contents, it can include all the auto titles in the document. Another use of auto titles is as targets for cross references added to the document, and auto titles can be used to generate mentions, which are contextual headings, as you can see in this example, which includes the title of a chapter and the page header. These titles are referred to as auto titles because they are dynamically updated based on their position and the way they are formatted. For example, if I insert another auto title before this current one, its number is automatically updated to reflect the change. So how does this work? Every auto title belongs to a single flow, a sequence of auto titles of a certain type, like titles, headings, small headings, figures, tables, and so on. All the auto titles in given flow share the same format and contain the same elements. In our example, it is the chapter flow that is used to insert an auto title before each chapter in our document. All auto titles that belong to the same flow are numbered according to their position in the sequence of auto titles of that flow in the document. When a new chapter auto title is added, Melel enumerates all the existing auto titles in the document's chapter flow and number or renumber them according to their position in the sequence. For example, if you add a new chapter auto title between the existing first and second ones, the new auto title will be numbered 2, and the original second auto title, now the third in the sequence, will be numbered 3. Auto title flows comprise a single hierarchy in the GOT document. For example, the chapter flow may be the top flow, heading might come next, then subheading, and so on. Whenever a chapter flow auto title is added, the numbering of the heading flow is reset. The same is true for the subheading flow, whenever a heading flow item is entered. Remember that this is the default behavior. Lower level flows can be configured so that they are not reset with higher level flows. In any case, Mello manages all the flows at every level and numbers them according to their position in their flow, as well as in relation to flows that are higher in the hierarchy. Mellel includes two types of flows. Structural flows are used to create and maintain the structure of the document. Each document includes a hierarchy of 10 structural flows. For example, chapter titles, headings, subheadings, and so on. You cannot add or delete structural flows or to move them within the flows hierarchy. You can, however, edit their format and style. And then there are tag flows. Tag flows are used to tag different elements in the document. By default, new documents include two tag flows, table and figure. You can create up to 99 new tag flows and place them under any structural flows to enable inserting captions or unnumbered headings. For example, captions for figures, tables, equations, and so on. You can delete tag flows and move them within the flow's hierarchy. Tag flows are reset when the structural flow they are located under is reset. You can configure any auto title to include several elements, both dynamic and static. Our chapter example includes several elements. The word chapter, which is a static element. It will appear exactly the same in all the auto titles that belong to this flow. The number one, this is a dynamic element. It will automatically be updated based on the position of the current auto title within its flow sequence. If I insert another auto title of the same flow, it will be automatically updated. And the word introduction. This is a user set element. It must be manually inserted whenever an auto title element of this flow is added. So when I insert a new auto title of the same flow, I can just type it in.
So now that you've learned so much about auto titles, how do you actually use them? Okay, so to insert an auto title into your document, first place your cursor where you want to insert it. Then you have multiple ways to insert an auto title. First, you can choose Insert Auto Title from the menu bar, and then choose the flow you wish to add an auto title to. You can also click the auto title palette, choose the flow you wish to add an auto title to, and click the Insert Auto Title button. You can also double click the desired flow in the palette. And finally, you can use the outline by right clicking anywhere inside the outline, choosing Insert, and selecting the desired flow. In any case, an untitled auto title is inserted into your document and you can now edit and enter its title text. Please know that if you select any text in the document prior to performing one of the methods we've just reviewed, the selected text will be used as the auto title text. Once the auto title is inserted, you might want to edit it. If you only want to edit its text, simply click on the auto title while holding the option key. You can now edit the text just like you would any other text in your document. If you need to change more than just the text, open the auto title popover by double clicking the auto title either in the document area or in the outline pane. You can change its text here as well, and you have some additional options like adding comments and assigning tags or markers. Auto titles can be filtered by their tags and markers in the outline pane and when you add cross-references, so it's worth putting in the effort to properly mark and tag them to make your life easier later. You can also use this popover to assign a virtual target to this auto title. Check out the virtual target video in the cross-references series for more information if you're interested. And lastly, you can copy and move auto titles to the document just like any other element using the various cut, copy, and paste tools. You can also use the outline to move auto titles by clicking and dragging them to the desired location. To delete the auto title, select it in the document area or in the outline pane and press Command Backspace. Or double click it and click the Trash button. So this concludes this video. You should now have a good understanding of what are auto titles and their principle of operation, and also be able to insert and edit auto titles in your document. We highly recommend that you view and try the corresponding tutorial to practice what you've just learned. So go ahead, click the link below and give it a try. So what's next? In the next video, you will learn how to manage your auto title flows, which are the different streams of auto titles in your document. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we appreciate your feedback, so feel free to leave it as comments to this video. Bye.